Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel once again. My name is Uluashi Nkolaole. I am a product manager, tech career coach. So I talk about product um, leadership and even tech career. Today, what exactly are we going to be talking about? Yes, I have something very important and quite amazing to share today. And that's something that happens in the tech space or it happens with people uh, working in professional settings, not essentially um, the tech space alone. And this is burnout. So what exactly is burnout? So most of the times people have been in their work and uh, at a point they see no essence. So when I say essence, I mean, they see no reason to actually continue what they have been doing and they feel tired, drained and all. But I have seen this over time and I've tried to check out why these things really happened. And I must tell you for sure today, I have five things I'm going to be telling you that are the major causes of these things, which I believe that the things I'm going to be sharing, they will be um, solving this problem. By the way, the fourth one is something that you must be here to listen. So you should stay till the end of this video. The first is improper time management. Now you might want to look at this like right? improper time management. What exactly is the way to manage your time? Sometimes you don't actually know what matters and what you ought to do part time. And if you don't have the right strategy to manage your time, a lot of people will actually eat into your time. Talk about people that a lot of people interact with every day. People like managers. If you do not have proper time management skills, you discover you end up not doing what you're supposed to do at the right time. And at the very end, you have so much workloads. And at the very end, you feel like, oh, I have so many things to work on and you feel overwhelmed being overwhelmed at what you do or whatever task and you have a lot of tasks each time you wake up and this has happened to me in the past um working with a company and i discovered that most of the things i was doing i was always waking up with headache waking up to so many tasks and all but until i figured out how to deal with this and that was proper time management to know this is what i'm doing between seven to eight between eight to nine 9 to 10 so which means if any other thing comes in you you will be able to tell them no this is not what i planned so how can you do this using your to-do list it looks or sounds cliche but i will tell you it really works because you're able to know what you're supposed to do part time and when things that are not supposed to be inside it when they come in you'll be able to like say um this is not what i'm supposed to do at this time then you can excuse um things you're not supposed to do at those times number two cut out excesses now when i say cut out excesses there are a lot of things that you actually do there are places you did not have to go so which means you were supposed to be in a place at a particular time because you have a good time management skill you're able to cut out excesses now it's possible for you to actually have like uh your to-do list and all of these things and still entertain excesses by putting in things that don't really matter inside what you have planned out for the day cut out excesses such that you are productive so which means when you're supposed to do 10 things in a day you are able to pick those 10 things and do them in order of priority the truth is you may not be able to make 100 percent every day but then you should set a threshold that if i don't get to this threshold you definitely know that you've not been productive people have not been able to manage their time because they couldn't take out excesses what they're not supposed to do per time and this ends up adding more tasks day in day out and don't forget if you're working in a professional environment it is possible for you to have multiple tasks or multiple things to do on a daily do not leave what you're supposed to do today and push it for tomorrow because that's procrastination and it will keep piling up you can get burnt out now number three set up systems and structure what do i mean by system and structures when you know that things some things look like routines is it possible for you to do it in such a way that you don't have to do this thing over and over again creating documentation for some things might help as a product manager one of the things i do is i prioritize documentation and doing my task very well take for an instance i want to give you some tasks to do as a developer or i'm starting up a new project i ensure as a developer you go through the brd you also understand uh, the product requirement document things that i expected of you to know and number two i try as much as possible to document workflows like even flow diagrams gather the use cases and ensure that the developer and all these things are well spelled out this might be difficult at times and this happens that um, most of my nights i spend time doing these things if i do these things during the night I'm able to ensure that you have the acceptance criteria almost when I give developers my task or things they are supposed to do. 
I discovered they don't have to reach out to me during the day or most of the times. If you are dealing with so many people, you might want to use this methodology. Try to set up documents and systems that help to reproduce itself so that when there's need for your input, you can always share documents and also and that thing is you can record videos on things that you need to explain to so many people if they cannot meet up take for an instance somebody could not make it up to a meeting take recording of such meeting and share it with the person you don't have to be present at all time to be able to put uh, add in your input wherever you can set structures and system do this and this is going to help you manage your time as an individual now the fourth one the trap of work from home I must tell you, most of the people working from home, something happens. You really cannot differentiate between the time of office. Yes, they put it on your JD, your job description, I mean to say, and uh, you are seeing nine to five. But trust me, you're actually not working nine to five. They're giving you your tasks based on productivity. So what should you do? There are two set of people. They are integrators and they are also segmental. Who is an integrator? And these are people that can actually do anything at any time. Anything that relates to work, they can do it at any time. So if you do not want to put yourself in the trap of actually working at all times, maybe 9 p.m. you reply emails, you do things that they are not supposed to do at those times. So not taking proper management of your time and schedule. Because the way the brain works is that it tries to master how you do things. And on the long run, if you are not actually giving yourself constant or consistent type of uh, breaks that is necessary for you, you may not be able to know uh, when you're supposed to do this and when you're supposed to do that. So as an integrator, it means you are a kind of person that prefers to work at any point in time. You can reply emails even at 12 a.m. You can work at any time and you feel like your mental health could carry this and when you communicate this there's a way you actually push this into um to your colleagues to tell them okay i work between nine to five and i would love to ensure that all meetings and everything that we have to do come in between this nine to five because this actually helps your mental health when your mental health is not in shape you are not able to get productive and when productivity is missing in the equation of work something happens you're not able to get things done and at the very end you have more tasks piling up and you have nothing to do than to actually get pawned out no essence of what you're doing at that point again now you could be a segmental who is a segmental a segmental is someone who literally would not want to work anything after office hours it really does not mean these people are not productive it's because they have mapped out how they want to work choose whichever one you know you fit into very well and ensure you keep track of it just like the way scrum master actually manages and supervises the sprint and ensure all the agile methodology and things that has to do with scrum is well followed ensure you know who you are either an integrator or a segmentor trust me it helps now the last one take breaks and vacations trust me most organizations will definitely give you time off and this time off will help you to check yourself out oh what have i been doing in the past that that's make me productive that i've not been following it helps you to retrace your step and also follow your measures of productivity and this will actually help you take your breaks break is not for the lazy people just like the random and regular say all work no play make jack a dull boy truly jack can be a dull boy if he doesn't take break because when you're supposed to rest you're not resting and when you're supposed to be working you are not working so you should be able to differentiate between when you should be resting and when you should be working now we've talked about those five things that are actually the major problem and i've also provided the solutions and how to overcome this burnout burnout is something that can happen at any point in time these are the things you need to do and when you have this burnout eventually because it can still happen even with all of this you can only prevent this because these are measures in which you can take to be able to you know manage your time very well so you don't have consistent burnout so if there are things you've tried in the past and you would love to share with every other person put it in the comment section and if there are things you want me to talk about later on you can put it in the comment section as well lastly do not forget to like comment and share subscribe on this channel so you can get more of informative content like this thank you see you in my next video